Hello and welcome to another episode of Tom's Gaming World. Now it's been a while. Um, the last video you saw me in would have been the game room tour. So we've done that now. I'm here in the game room and I'm ready to talk about video games again because there's been a bit going on. So why don't I start at the top? So top of my exciting video game news would be that I picked up this. This is a Master System version of Sonic the Hedgehog triple triple so very excited about this one because this is a game I always wish was on my system at the time um, I never had a Game Gear and always wanted to play this having really enjoyed Sonic Chaos I've since played the game on Game Gear and of course it's available on compilations and uh, I can play it on my um, what's it called analog pocket um, but you get an increased field of view in this, I'll explain. Uh, instead of the limited uh, size of the game uh, gear screen, where you get a, a, a wider picture. And I think personally that improves the game quite a bit. Um, however, it is running slower than I'm used to it now. <laughs> this is running at the speed of all the other Sonic Mass System games at 50 hertz. So the music is not quite how I remember it. Also there's, you've got to have two controllers plugged in to play it. This is a problem I stumbled across was uh, there's no proper start button on the Mass System controller. Uh, button one always acts as start. Um, and it says in the instructions quite clearly, you need a um, second controller, you need to press down on the D-pad and the second controller to act as a start button. Because without that you can't play the game. You just get up to the title screen and you can't get any further. It's a manual by the way. Very nice. Uh, a couple of little inaccuracies if I'm being picky. We It's a classic Sonic game yet you've got Robotnik is, or shall we say Eggman, is modern and uh, so is the picture of Tails for some reason. But um, it is quite nicely done besides that. So. I'm not going to split hairs about that sort of thing. So yeah, it's really cool. So they, they really go all out. The quality of the of the box and the cartridge inside, super from a retro gen. Um, you can find them online. They have a little catalogue in here that also comes with the game. We can show some of their other games there. Um, there's all sorts. Um, you can get Tales of Adventure for the math system, originally a Game Gear game, and they've done some sequels to Alex Kidd, which is really cool. Rystar, the Game Gear game, math system port. So it's sort of all those games that came out on Game Gear, not math system, that you kind of wanted the superior math system version of. Uh, Retro Gen, uh, Retro Gen, that's their logo there, and some details for them. If you want to check them out, I mean, they're not cheap. I mean, obviously, uh, they're a little, little on the pricey side. However, I did treat myself to this because I've always wanted a Master System copy of this game. And uh, now I finally have one. gaming world I suppose is uh, I've been playing quite a lot of Namco actually and getting into collecting PS1 Namco games again so um, I've got a um, a modded uh, PS1 uh, which will play NTSC so that on the big CRT downstairs is really nice and I've been I got Ridge Race Type 4 the Japanese version of that to play it in its, you know, full glory. Uh, lack of English uh, in the story mode, unfortunately, but uh, what well, that's to be expected. Uh, but the gameplay, fantastic, uh, really great on, on, on that screen. Fills the whole screen, unlike the PAL version where you got little little borders on it. So um, what I've done is I've also picked up Ace Combat One, Two, and Three uh, NTSC copies. So. Uh, they'll be winging their way to me at some point. 
So that's um, that's pretty exciting. I've also been playing some modern games as well. Um, recently got Tekken 8, which is great. I mean, it's Tekken. <laughs> there are a few changes. There's a new addition to the fighting system. Uh, I think it's called Heat. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, it changes up a little, but you know what you're getting with Tekken. This time, of the, and, and also, I say this time, but every installment in Tekken series, they take the presentation up a notch. The graphics, again here, fantastic graphics and presentation. Um, and again, Namco Bandai. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm enjoying playing Tekken 8 again. I, I, I can't stop playing Sonic Origins. Uh, as you know, I like Sonic a lot, as I just demonstrated with uh, Sonic Triple Trouble. But um, Sonic Origins, it just keeps me playing. Uh, I love playing those games. I find them an immense comfort, especially Sonic 2, which is my favorite. And I feel that these Origins versions of the games are the best there is. Um, widescreen presentation really improves the, the game as a whole, I would say. Uh, little quality of life things like, I'm talking specifically about the anniversary mode here. The little tweaks done to the game, you know, getting rid of the live system, replacing it with the coins, allowing you to retry, retry special stages, allowing you to keep your rings after special stages. There's quite a lot going on um, to just make the games a little bit more accessible um, and relieve any of the frustration that, that, that you might have experienced playing them. Not that I think uh, that there's too much in the way of frustration in the Sonic games, but I think having the option to play them like this in the anniversary versions is fantastic and the mission mode is great, the presentation is great on Sonic Origins as well. Um, story, inclusion of story mode with the cutscenes, I just think it's such a good retro compilation and uh, I, I decided I'd try and uh, get all the achievements trophies on every format. So because I originally started playing it on PS5, um, I got it all on PS5 and then of course, that didn't carry over to PS4. I think if you've done it on PS4 and then moved to PS5, then all your, your, your trophies carry over. But if you do it the opposite way around, they don't. So I did it all on PS4 after that. And then did it all on Xbox uh, One version, um, which I played on the Series S. And then um, GameCube, I got the Plus version. I didn't have a physical version of Origins until I got the uh, Plus version for the game uh, for for the Switch, and um, so so um, I'm working through that one at the minute, trying to do everything on that. It has no achievements or trophies. However, um, I know what the achievements and trophies are, so I'm trying, you know, for the most part, just to do all the same stuff on that game. Certainly, play through all the games. I've already done them all as Amy. Um, now uh, I've played through the story mode. And just by generally playing the game, you get a lot of the uh, trophies anyway. There's a few specific things that you, you, you need to do. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working to do the story mode 100%, um, which isn't technically an achievement or a trophy, but I like doing it anyway. <laughs> um, get all the museum uh, items and the pictures, the music and the movies. Uh, so yeah, it just gives me a little bit of a goal to work towards and, um, on a game, on a series of games, I just... Uh, Love to play. Also found an excellent bargain on Amazon recently. £14, brand new. This is the 3D Realms, I think they call it. Uh, controller from uh, PDP. Uh, Sonic controller. And uh, you can see Sonic is uh, encased in this plastic down here. And it's just really nice. And I thought, these retail at 35 so when I saw this at £14, I was like... Right, so uh, i got to get... And it's comfy. And it's comfy. Um, it's a nice controller. Um, I find it difficult to get to work with Steam games. <laughs> it's um, branded as for the for the Switch, but the way the way my Switch is downstairs, um, this cable, well, 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 whereas it is long, it isn't quite um, long enough to reach the the, the sofa. But um, it's a comfy controller. It's good to have. So I'm really happy with that. A, from PDP, this one. So. Really nice, and I like that little Sonic in there. I've also been getting back into uh, Guitar Hero. Um, been playing it on the Wii and the PS3. Nice. And been playing uh, Guitar Hero Greatest Hits um, on this, and a bit of um, Rock Band 
4 on the PS4. The, the, the dongle does work on PS4 as well as PS3, so that's nice. So um, I was trying to remember how I was playing Rock Band 4 because I've had the game for ages, but I was like, how did I used to play it? And I used to just use a PS3 dongle. And for those wondering what the dongle looks like, um, the dongle for the Beatles one it looks like this. It's got a little Beatles logo on it. And uh, if you're curious as to um, if you need multiple dongles and multiple guitars, you do. Uh, this is something I like to look up myself fairly recently um, because these things are really expensive nowadays because uh, ideally I wouldn't mind I've got plenty of Wii guitars just behind me here um, and I like playing on the Wii but you know it's, it's a bit nicer a bit more convenient sometimes to play on the uh, PS3 um, but if I want another guitar I need to get first of all the guitar which you've seen the prices of any sort of guitar here or rock band guitar on eBay now they're, they're pretty expensive just for the guitar and then you, you're paying the same price again just to get the dongle so it's not I'm not really um, you know feeling that or really want to spend that amount of money it's just a nice house so if I ever find a charity shop for the PS3 I'd certainly pick it up it's got it's got to be it's got to be cheap one of the uh, Guitar Hero games I've really enjoyed playing just lately has been uh, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock I've been playing that on the Wii I really love what they did with the formula they really shook it up quite a lot and uh, added a kind of story mode to it it's at least a bit more epic than the usual you know you're starting a band you're progressing your career in um, Warriors of Rock you, your idea is you've got to kind of evolve all the characters so you play through a series of songs as a series of different characters and once you've got so many stars I think it's stars is it for, for, for all the songs you can then transform your character so they become like a, a more extreme version of themselves like a monstrous version perhaps and um, they, they gain superpowers which give you uh, so the extra abilities that you can use within the game uh, which is really cool and I just love the presentation I, I love the, uh, the for the most part the, the track listing on that it's the kind of songs you want to play in Guitar Hero with you know good solos and such so uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying playing Warriors of Rock that that would be a good one if they ever brought back Guitar Hero uh, to see that one remade maybe because that was one of the last if not the last Guitar Hero games if, I, if I'm not mistaken and maybe not as many people played it but either re-release it or do a sequel to Warriors of Rock very much in the same style. So I'm down here now in the living room and um, I want to talk a little bit about what I've got set up here, the CRT with the uh, PS1, uh, modded PS1 and the and the GameCube, just, just regular old, old GameCube. So I recently picked up this which is 8-bit dough um, a bit do, <laughs> don't know what you call it, um, wireless connector. So I've got two of these actually, and these will work with most 8 bit do controllers um, and also um, with things like the PS4 controller. So I've got this classic PS1 style controller, so, so that's quite a nice thing to use with that. Um, and then, of course, because of where they're sitting, I need to use the the wave bird, so it's my wave bird. So use that with, with the GameCube. And then if we go in here a second, you can see I've been playing the Namco PS1 games, you know, a bit of Tekken 3, and there's uh, Ridge Racer Type 4, and these really funky boxes. It's strange, it's not quite like the regular PAL boxes, they're a bit different. And I use this as a second controller, wireless controller for the PS1, which was a bit too. SM30 Pro Plus. That's a really cool um, PlayStation-like controller, but certainly in the, in, it's in the uh, styling of the original DMD Game Boy. And just lastly, we'll take a look at the additions to the PS5 games. Of course, I've already talked about Tekken 8. I did a short unboxing on our Instagram, um, which you can check out there. If you listen to the podcast on Matt Attack, you would have seen, or oh, sorry, you would have heard me and Matt chatting about Wanted Dead. And lastly, um, AW Fight Forever, which I talked about in the latest episode of the podcast, episode 305, I think. And this is a really good wrestling game in the style of the old N64 ones like No Mercy 
or WCW vs NWO, Revenge, World Tour, you know, those ones. And that pretty much brings me to the end of the video. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you found it vaguely interesting. Uh, I don't do these videos as often. In fact, uh, I don't know exactly where I did the last uh, Tom's Gaming Ward. It would have been in the, our previous uh, abode here in London. Of course, now now we've moved and everything. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I mean, everything I've talked about, the games and things and uh, uh, accessories that I've sort of been amassing over a period of of time really uh, since uh, you saw the last uh, video so you know one of the reasons I don't do things as frequently is I'm, I'm getting less and less in terms of picking up video games and accessories and stuff so. so there's not always a lot to talk about but I felt that there was enough uh, to do an episode so I hope you've enjoyed it um, until next time, it's goodbye and game on.